What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create our structural slab on second floor. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm gonna open my 2D view, 0 to floor. Alright, and then after that, I'm going to turn on the architectural model that we will be using as our guide for our slab. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to open the visibility graphics override. So I'm going to type VV for visual graphic overrides or visibility graphic overrides. And then I'll go to imported categories. And then as you can see, our CAD drawing here is turned off. So I'm going to check that one. And then I'm going to select your OK so that you'll be able to see our architectural drawing. Okay, so we will be using our architectural drawing as our guide to create our slab. So to start, I'm going to select the structure and then look for the floor. I'm going to select um, structural floor. Click that one. And then from the properties, instance properties. So let's click the drop down arrow and then I'll be using 6 inches concrete. Okay, so let's click that one. And then here on our draw panel, I'm going to make sure I'll use the line tool because we are going to sketch the boundary of our floor. And then make sure the chain tool here is checked so that we'll be able to create our lines continuously without breaking it. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here to start the creation of my uh, floor boundary. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to click that corner. All right, and then I'm going to trace that all the way here okay so I'm gonna click there and then I'm gonna move it down say up to up to here and then I'm going to click here then I'm going to move down to this grid all right and then I'm going to Click that. So I'm just tracing the boundary. All right. So here. So I'm going to click here. Point there. And then this point. Now for us to be able to trace that arc. So I will be using start and reduce. So that's the start. Here's the end. And then here's the reduce. Click. And there you go. So there's our arc. And then we're going to select the line tool again to continue our creation. So I'm going to pick here. And then I'm going to pick down here. Okay. And let's pick here to this grid. <laughs> I'm going to pick to this grid. Then I'm going to move down, move down here. Pick here. I'm going to pick somewhere here. There you go. And then after that, let's go to the first point that we click. There you go. Okay, so every time you create the boundary, so make sure that it's close, no intersection, no overlapping. Okay, so make sure there's no overlapping lines and it should be close. Okay? And after you create the boundary of your concrete slab, so you just select finish, edit mode. So just click that one and there you go. So if you are asked, would you like walls that go up to this floor level to attach to its bottom? I'm just going to select here, don't attach. So I just click that one and there you go. So there is now my floor. So if I go to the 3D view, this is now how it looks like. So I just click outside to deselect and there's now our floor slab 
Alright, so that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.